Are you thinking about moving to Nevada, but you're worried about the low quality and low rankings for education? I totally feel you. I have two kids both in school here in Reno, and I'm ready to give you some solutions as well as share with you my personal experience regarding finding the right school for your child in Reno. So let's dive into that conversation, but before we do, I do have a few statistics pulled up for you. This is gonna help you understand exactly how bad it is here in the state of Nevada. I wanna preface this whole conversation with the fact that I am not from here, though I am a licensed real estate agent and that is my full-time job. I'm actually from Massachusetts. I moved from the state that has the highest ranking in the nation for education to a state that has nearly the worst. Not quite the bottom, but we're pretty dang close in Nevada. So I totally understand. I'm familiar with the whole relocation process and I can help you, but let's get into some statistics. Nevada ranks 49th in educational attainment nationwide, 42nd in school quality, 46th in best school systems in America, and last in the share of doctorate degrees in our entire country. Not looking really good. And if you are thinking about moving here from another state and you look at that, you're like, nope. If you have kids, I totally get it. I mean, I'm there with you. So I myself live in what I would say is probably one of the worst schools that as far as where I'm zoned, right? I have a five-year-old, she entered kindergarten about three weeks ago, and um, I had quite the journey and quite the experience looking for schools for her. It was terrifying in a lot of ways, obviously, because she's been with me her whole life. We kind of skipped over preschool, and so I'm obviously super picky, as most parents are, about where she was gonna spend all of her time every day. Now, like I said, the school that we are zoned for is scary. I'm not going to mention which one, um, but it has a history of a lot of gang activity and a lot of violence and other things that I found to be concerning as a parent. Um, I know she's in kindergarten. All of that's not so much of a factor yet, but the people who end up in that high school arguably probably started there in kindergarten, and I just was not comfortable with any of those statistics. So one thing I will tell you, if you are a parent and you are moving here and have to make your way into a new school, or if you have a kindergartner or you're going to have a kindergartner, if you want to start researching and applying to all these schools as early as January or February the year before, or like within that year, January, February, if they're going to enter school that August, because it's super competitive and there are cutoff dates, I think most of them stop allowing applicants by like March or April um, for the charter schools. And I'm, I'm gonna get into all of that and what that process looks like. I also wanna point out that most of these schools, I think almost all of the ones that we applied to, it's a lottery. It's a random drawing that allows you into the school. It's not based on merit or anything else. So there are the schools you're zoned for that no matter what, if you live where you live, your, your child is allowed to attend the school you are zoned for, right? Because I was unhappy with the school that we are zoned for, I tried to find other resources that weren't homeschooling because I really love working and wanted to get back into my full-time swing of things. So what I found after a lot of research is that there are some absolutely amazing charter schools in the Reno Sparks area. I was so excited when I figured this out and almost all of them are free because they are either funded by the school district or they're privately funded, which is like the one that my daughter goes to. So you have other options. There are 38 charter schools in Nevada. There are seven just in Reno Sparks that are funded by the school district and then lots more beyond that if they are publicly funded or sometimes, you know, there's like Catholic or like religious affiliations that fund them. Um, so those are some options for you too. So being the psychopath that I am, I applied to literally every charter school in the Reno Sparks area when enrollment opened or when th the ability to apply opened, whatever you want to call that. Um, I applied to probably, yeah, I think every single one of them except the religious ones were not religious. No problem if you are, that's just not, um, you know, how my family is. But we applied to all the rest and we probably got into, I don't know, maybe eight or nine 
of the bunch that we applied to. And for a while there, it was literally like a full-time job. So of the eight or nine that we got into, I literally went and interviewed at every single one of them. And I wanted to look at, you know, what the school was like, what the teacher was like for kindergartners, who the principal was, how they handled our interview. I mean, I'm not gonna say which school, but there was one where they were so disorganized and we had an appointment and they didn't even know who we were and everything was filthy. That was like a huge turnoff for me because I don't want my kid going somewhere where things aren't clean and like, you know, it's like their everyday place. I wanted it to be like clean, well-maintained, like the people who work there care. And I sat in the office for a good 15 minutes before somebody came out to introduce themselves and give me the tour. And while I was there, I was just kind of observing and it just seemed like chaos and when we did finally get the tour, the person was literally texting and like taking phone calls during our tour, which was also completely inappropriate. And then when we went down to see the kindergarten room, granted they had a substitute teacher that day, um, so it wasn't the full-time kindergarten teacher, but the sub didn't see us coming in and was like yelling, like yelling at these five-year-old kids and it was super inappropriate. And when he saw us standing there, he looked shocked and embarrassed and like he got caught doing something he shouldn't have been doing. So that was a hard pass and I really have to say, like that school has super high ratings for academics. And I just want you to realize that like, what it says on the internet and what it says on paper isn't everything and you really should go look and talk to the people who your child is gonna be left with because it may really surprise you what you find. We also looked into Montessori and other types of like alternative education. Um, there were two schools in particular that I was like, I gotta get her into one of those two. They're really great schools. They're known for having strong academics, but also really um, diverse programming as far as like extracurriculars kind of built into the education, which I loved. Um, and those are Pinecrest and Doral. I think they call it Doral, but it's spelled like Doral. <laughs> um, D-O-R-A-L, great schools, applied to both. And I was like, if I get into either of those or both, like we'll decide between, but that's where she's gonna go. And even though my crazy self applied like months before the cutoff date, we were still, I think like, in the high 100s for the waiting list of each. And it's a lottery, like I said, so it's not based on merit. It's literally like full names out of a hat, but I think they do it electronically. But even so, we were really far away from getting in. Um, and I interviewed at a whole bunch of other schools and the school that we landed at is called Matter Academy of Northern Nevada. It's spelled like mater, but it's Latin for mother. So it's pronounced matter. Um, it's a brand new school. I think they finished building it in 2018 and then there were the COVID years. So it's like pretty new, beautiful school and it's connected to the Boys and Girls Club. It's not in the greatest of neighborhoods. It's really close to the whole Audi district um, that I would say is pretty transitional right now. I think in a number of years with, with, with all the development that they're doing there with arts and culture and whatnot, I do believe that that's gonna change. But for now, that was my biggest apprehension about the school. But when we toured it, I realized, you know what, all of that aside, this school is amazing. And given the whole situation with the neighborhood, I was really pleased to learn about the security, like doors all kind of automatically lock. Somebody at the front desk has to buzz you in um, and they have a gate so cars can't just drive in and out like outside of drop off and pick up time. So it's really secure. They have a beautiful playground, beautiful green space. Academics are strong. And one thing that I really appreciated about this school is that the principal of the whole school was the one who took the time to give us the tour. She was wonderful and she explained to me that when you come here, your child and your family become an extension of our family. We will always know her by first and last name. Every staff member here will and every faculty member will. We have a lot of technology in place so that we have open communication between faculty and parents. And everything she told me has so far been true. I mean, granted we are a month in, but I couldn't be any happier. I also learned after that interview and after I had already made the commitment and registered her and bought the uniforms and all that stuff, I learned that Matter Academy is the third sister school to Doral. Doral, D 
D-O-R-A-L and Pinecrest, and that the three all fall under the same academic umbrella. So I was super excited to learn about that and it's almost like I got what I wanted without realizing it. I wanna know what you guys think, so drop a comment below. Are you a parent? Do you have kids in school in Reno or Sparks? What is your experience like? Do you have any tips for anyone who may be watching or thinking about moving here from another city or state? And also, as I mentioned, I am a realtor here. So if you have any questions about the real estate market or any of that, I'd be happy to talk with you. You can book a call with me for 30 minutes. It's no obligation, totally free. I'm just a resource, happy to answer any of your questions. There's a link to do that in the description box below. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming content. I put out videos every week. It's everything around the Reno Sparks real estate market and the Reno Sparks lifestyle. And also make sure you follow me on Instagram for other kinds of content, including a lot of real estate humor. All right, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.